All right, gonna try and do a quick one here this morning. Got an MS-250, and looks like it's missing something. Ordered an aftermarket handle assembly. Gonna see how it turns out. It is a Xiaoshang or something like that. I don't wanna butcher the pronunciation, upset nobody, but it's Xiaoshang rear brake handle, top shroud, whatever, if it's MS-250. Made in China. So I'm going to try and do this on the dinner table. On account of my workbench is pretty well covered up. Air filter bracket. Let's see. I believe this. Yeah, it tilts up, pulls out. We have a vent. There's the carb come off now. Drained all the fuel out of this in the garage. So hopefully it didn't stink up the house too bad. So yellow goes on that tab. This is the one that slides into the little lever. I'm back. Stuck that one in my finger. Anti-vibe mount over here. That one 
does not have anything inside it, so it's just going to push out. Actually, I don't think I have to take it, that one out. Intake boot, you gotta pry it away from uh, away from all the handle housing. Just be gentle with it. If you're gentle with it, you generally won't poke a hole in them unless they're you know, already bad. Y'all hear some crunching and munching back there. That's my dog playing, playing with toys. That one's got to pop off. Yeah, no problem. Let's get lift up. So these connectors have got to be fed through this hole. And that grommet's got to be swapped over. So the next one is going to be this over here. Probably one of those pieces that you just gotta fight with a little bit to get it on out of there because it looks like it goes in at a weird angle and probably gonna come out at a weird angle too. Oh, it's coming on now. Probably gonna spring a leak. My last bit here is pushing my shutoff wires through this grommet. There's a little grommet here, it's gonna have to be swapped over to the new housing, too. Yep, whole grommet pushed through, even better. Still trying to keep me in place. Oh, impulse line. There's impulse line on the bottom. You don't want to rip it because it looks like it's a molded one. Uh, yeah, you don't want to tear that guy because it's molded and then you're stuck uh, trying to source a new impulse line. This isolator already has its uh, little stopper put in there. 
so we want to make sure last thing disconnect this impulse line I think it's going to be easier to start this grommet with one of those I think I'm going to have to push the grommet through and then push the wires through so I think it's all going to have to happen on this piece here That's easy enough, just pushing the little grommet in there. Need to spin it around though. Like that. It's got the notch in it. Yellow one is going to go on this tab, black one's going to go in here. So it shuts off. I'm lubricating this anti-vibe mount uh, just so it'll slip into that hole better. I used cooking spray. It's it'll work. These mount this mount feels a little bit stiffer I don't totally know why that is um, maybe it's new maybe it's a different material but it does feel stiffer so that's good and bad it might you know on one hand you're gonna pick up control and you get better feedback from the saw I think I'm going to pull the spark plug out to give me room to work around here. Oh, I wasn't even tight. Cool. Plug don't look bad though. Uh, yeah, on the stiffness of the mounts on one hand, you get uh, better control of the saw. On the other one, you're probably going to pick up a little more vibration in your hands. Uh, this is a little bitty saw. It probably ain't going to shake you apart too bad, though. Alright, now I'm popped in. Nice and easy. It didn't have a bolt on it. It used the smaller stopper. Now I want to hook up my impulse line, feed my coil wire up so it's not in the way. Come under here and fish around my impulse line. Might have to do that after the fact with a pair of hemostats. Unless I can hook it up blind here real quick. back in the frame and intake boots I like to stick the pliers in there twist them and then it wraps it all together and shrinks it down a little bit so it generally fits in the hole a little better you don't want to go nuts trying to twist it again more cooking spray
this one has an ear on it, so I need to figure out where that ear is. I'm probably trying to fish it through first. to my wires. I'm going to leave this all unbolted right now because it gives me a little wiggle room. Um, my fuel line looks like I kind of catch it. Yep, my alarm's going off telling me to go to work. Looks like I got the impulse on. Got those two. This isolator still in place, so I don't need to worry about anything there. Uh, only thing I'm going to be missing. Throttle linkage, it looks like, unless I had that, uh, unless I have that in the garage. But I'm gonna run this bolt in. I'm just gonna get it all threaded together because I gotta go to work. But anyway, the factory plastic on this thing looked like it was around that $70 range. And this one was like 20 bucks. It's not a very pricey saw neither, so uh, the guy didn't want to spend a ton of money on it. And 
really the last thing that I need to do to, uh, I guess, finish everything to do with changing out the handle is fish these wires through here. You can see them through the back. So all I'm going to do is push them around so I can snag them with my pliers. Got this one pulled through. I see that yellow one. slack is on this side that yeah. insulation on that wire is not very durable I was pretty gentle with my pliers and it ate it up but it ate it up right where this uh, this grommet sits so I'm not going to worry too bad about it because it's not touching any metal. Push my grommet back into place. Hey, there's my wires. Everything's routed the way it needs to be. The last thing I got to do is install a carburetor, air box, and all that. And then we're good. Uh, that pretty quick one on replacing the handle on an MS250.